What's up guys, how you doing? Welcome to another video. I'm sorry you didn't get a video last week. That is because I was busy um, on a little trip filming videos for my other YouTube channel. A lot of you guys already know about that channel. Uh, if you don't and you're interested in checking it out, is history in your hand, I'll put it right here on the screen. Uh, it's history videos, so if you're into that, check that one out. If you're not, don't worry, stick right here with the cameras, that is absolutely fine. So today, I'm gonna share with you some of the accessories that I've shown you before in videos, and I thought I would let you know, have I changed my mind? By that I mean, through the course of videos where I've done like what's in my bag videos, you know, top five accessories, things like that, I've shared with you a fair few accessories. But I have got probably five or six today, which I've used pretty much every single time I've done any kind of photo job since I first shared that item with you. So I thought I would share with you those things, let you know what I think about them, let you know why I still use them and why I think they are as good as I do. Before we get into it, I'm going to ask you guys to do all the usual YouTube stuff for me. Hit the like button, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. All the good stuff. Right guys, let's get straight into this. So item number one, something which I shared with you guys quite a long time ago now, is this little rubber lens hood. Now, this is like a pop-out lens hood that I use primarily on my 70 to 200 lens. Now, I originally got this back when I first photographed the NBA, because they had a rule that you had to have these on here, something to do with like player protection, i.e didn't really get the point of it, but hey, I went along with it, of course. Uh, and ever since then, I've thought, God, this is fantastic. It's a lens hood uh, that works really well, that then just pops down flat over your camera like that, and you can fit it into your camera bag. It, it's genius. Now, actually, literally, I think yesterday or the day before when I was out shooting, uh, I ripped this one. So I've ordered on Amazon a new one straight away. I ripped it out during the day, came home, ordered a new one. That shows you how much I like this lens hood. Really, really worthwhile. And now would be a good time to say I'm going to link all of these items in the description below if you want to go check them out for yourself. But lens hood, really versatile. This is the 77mm one because it's for my 70 to 200 you can actually get them for all the different lenses. Transparently, I, I haven't got them for all of my other lenses because they only have kind of smaller lens hoods, but for the 70 to 200, it works well because it also gives me something that replaces like the big chunky lens hood um, that comes with this lens as standard. So really great accessory. I highly recommend you check it out. Okay, so moving into the second item, and that is this. These are the Optech uh, disposable rain covers. Now, I shared these with you a couple of times, but I, I have consistently come back to these despite trying various other rain covers. I've tried some of the slightly fancier ones, some of the slightly more expensive ones. I've tried towels and chamois leathers and stuff like that. And actually, I, I always come back to these. They're just so versatile. They're easy to use. They fold up tiny into your bag. You take them out, they fit over your camera, they've got the little kind of tightening string that tightens around the end of your lens and they're good to go. Also, as soon as it stops raining or it dries up, you can just take them off straight away. You guys know how much I hate shooting in the rain, but these do make it an awful lot easier. So I really recommend checking out these rain covers if you haven't already. Okay, moving into the third item. This is something, I think I shared this one with you quite a while ago now, but this is my little mini tripod. Now, this is such a go-to accessory for me. And in fact, I don't just use this when I'm out and about. I normally use this right here. You guys are normally sat on this tripod when I make my videos. Today, you're actually sat on my Gorillapod. Um, but I use this all the time. I take it to pretty much every event that I shoot. The reason I do that is because it's so small and versatile and easy to carry around with me. I use it for loads of my remote cameras. You can change it to different heights if you want to do like a behind the goal camera. You can lay it out like really flat and wide if you want to do like a, um, you know, kind of like a ground camera looking up at a basket in basketball. I take this with me on holiday when I go on trips because it's just like a tiny little tripod. If you extend it out to full height, it's not that high, but it's high enough that you can, you know, crouch down and do a little photo of a, a sunset or something. I've used it for like vlogging stuff before as well, it's great for that. And the other thing of course, when I do a lot of video stuff, especially if I'm out and about and I want to do like a behind the scenes video for you guys, I set up like my Osmo Action or something on this, put it next to me and I can film myself really easily as well. So really versatile one. Um, this one is a Cambo Photo tripod. Um, I think Niwa do uh, one that's almost exactly the same, which is probably the most cost effective item for you. So I'll try to find that one and link that one in the description because I think it's going to work out better for you guys uh, price-wise. 
Okay, we talked about Niwa, so I'm going to stick with Niwa. Now, this is a really recent one because in the last video, I talked about the Niwa replacement batteries for my Canon R6. Well, I actually filmed that video about three weeks ago now, uh, and I've used these batteries consistently since then. And I've got to say, six weeks in, I'm really, really pleased with them. I've had no issues with them getting like hot or warm or hot when they're charging or anything that makes me feel nervous about them. They work really well. In all honesty, when I've got this in my camera versus the official Canon battery, I haven't really noticed any difference in performance at all. So what I tend to do is I have my Canon batteries, those are like my main ones, and I have these ones with me as backups. I have routinely used these when I'm out and about. I did a big event um, on Saturday last week where I was shooting all day, but halfway through the day I had to change from a Canon battery to one of these, cracked on shooting the rest of the day, had no problem with them whatsoever. Remember, you can get a set of three of these for about a third of the price that you can just one Canon battery. So it is a crazy, crazy price difference and really worth checking out. Now, some of you guys aren't gonna be up for using third-party batteries. I totally get that, but I think it works. Um, so I would recommend it. What's up guys, forgive me, I am briefly interrupting this video just to let you know that we've got a special promotion right now over on my website on my Lightroom presets. You can get my general Lightroom presets pack which includes things like early morning blues, fiery landscape, faded film. You can get my sports pack which includes things like my sports starter preset, my cold as ice, my dramatic black and white, all the reds and of course you can get my free starter sports preset. Also if you head over there to the website in the checkout, you can use the code YTube10 and that's going to get you 10% off any of those preset packs that you would like. With one simple click in Lightroom, you can turn your image from something regular into a cool edited photo. Go check them out. Link is in the description. Right, back to Rob for the video. Okay, moving into item number five and that's our last one for today. And that is my mini travel towel. Showed you this before, it's one of those like super absorbent um, towels. I, I use this all the time and I don't just use it when it's wet. I use this pretty much every event I do. My standard operation for this is that I turn up to an event, I fold it out to like kind of that sort of size, like a little square, and I put it on the floor next to me. That's where my 70 to 200 sits when I'm shooting like football games and stuff like that. You can see, it's even got some like muddy stains on it where I've been doing that, but that's exactly why. It means I can put this on the ground, put my camera on top of that. I'm not worried about it going in the wet or the mud. Um, I'm, I'm not one of the guys who likes like it round the neck on the camera strap, I just find that too restrictive. I like it on the floor next to me and I just grab it when I need to go. So that's the standard thing I use this for. Of course, where it then comes into its purpose as an actual towel is when it has been wet, I use this to dry up all my gear before it goes back um, into the bag. Another great thing you can do when it's wet, if you've got your laptop out next to you, like I do when I'm shooting events, and you get one of those like, you know, tiny little drizzle, not actual rain. All I do is fold this out slightly bigger, I lay it over the top of my laptop, and I know my laptop's good there for a good, you know, 20 minutes. If that drizzle lasts beyond that, then yeah, I need to start getting out my proper rain stuff and putting it away. But in a slight little downpour that we didn't expect to come, this towel has saved me loads and loads and loads. It's real cheap as well. And again, it folds up really small, nice and tiny. You can fit that in your camera bag, no hassles whatsoever, and you are good to go. So there you go, five accessories that I've shared with you previously in videos that I continue to take with me on literally every single photo job that I shoot. I hope you guys found this useful. If you did, do me a favour, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments, um, what kind of videos would you like to see over the next few weeks? Because we have not got that many photo jobs uh, out and about. So we need to think of some stuff that we can shoot for you right here. Um, anyone who's going to say anything to do with the Canon R7, don't worry, all that's coming. Um, I'm just trying to make sure I do a proper job of that. So I'm making like a series of videos about the Canon R7. Those are going to be with you guys in the not so distant future. In the meantime, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.